everybody, this is JJ Long from JJ Artworks. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. I hope you all had a great Halloween this past Tuesday. I am currently at the Anchor in Charlestown, and we're having our last paint party at the Anchor Boston uh, today on Sunday. It's going to be a Sugar Skull event, and I'm really excited. The Sugar Skull events are always a fun time. And uh, just really quickly before I get into what I wanted to talk about today, I want to give a big thank you to our friends over at the Anchor Boston and specifically the, the Anthem Group, Chris, Ashley, Shelby, Kevin, uh, all the amazing staff and everyone there. Thank you so much for a great season. We always have a blast painting with you guys and uh, all the residents of Charlestown. Uh, it's always a fun time painting with everybody. I, I love seeing familiar faces. And it's just a really good community and a really good vibe down here. So uh, very, very happy. But since I got here a few minutes early today, I figured I'd record something because it's been a while since I've actually posted anything on YouTube. And I wanted to talk about why I've sort of been pulled away from social media a bit um, as far as me posting on my personal profiles like Instagram, Facebook and all that and why I haven't been posting as regularly on YouTube and then how... I feel uh, building your foundation is a very, very important thing, and it's worthwhile to spend enough time and energy doing that. Um, and I'm t talking about everybody, whether you're a business owner, whether you're not, whether you're just, um, you, you know, you work a, a typical nine to five job for an employer, and you just feel like you're a little off kilter and off balance, and you don't have your habits dialed in. Um, I want to talk today about building a solid foundation. Uh, and the reason why I want to talk about it is because one of the uh, foundational elements that I've been missing uh, in my life, and this has to do with the business, but then I'll also segue into our personal lives as well. But um, as far as the business goes, I sp I've been spending a lot of time trying to uh, revamp our website so I'm going to talk a little bit about software and tech today. I don't want to get too technical, but basically we had an old Weebly website and Square bought out Weebly and I love Square. Square is an amazing company. I've been using them for many, many years as our POS system for, uh, you know, selling art prints and paintings at art festivals and all that. So we've been using Square basically since their inception, like way back in the early 2000s. And when Square bought out Weebly, and we've been using Weebly as our website designing platform for, uh, I don't know, five or six years or so, things kind of on the back end got really kind of complicated. And unfortunately, I'm not at the point where I can hire a web developer. I'm really still the one wearing all the hats in my business. And one of the hats I do wear that I don't talk about very often is uh, web design. And... There was a time back this past spring where someone bought a painting off the website um, and I actually didn't know about it until like a few days later. And the person's like, hey, I just wanted to see, you know, when my painting's coming in the mail, I'm really excited. And I'm like, what, what are you, what are you talking about? And I, I log into Weebly and I sold a painting and some prints and I didn't get the notification email. And that's a big red flag. <laughs> You know, if you want to be an e-commerce store or you want to have a website where you have a shopping cart, um, you, you want to have a, a very polished, uh, smooth, seamless functioning website. And this is where, I, where I'm talking about the foundation. So my my foundation was, uh, there was holes in the foundation, right? And I'm like, oh my God, I, I really need a new website. And for some reason, when Square bought out Weebly, there's been login issues. I just, I don't know. Do I log into Square to access my Weebly website? Do I log into Weebly? Is Weebly still a thing? I, I have no idea what's going on. And it, it just made things very, very complicated. Um, and I had been doing some research and, and I'm like, you know, maybe I should, you know, get a different website platform. And then I also have this idea to, um, yeah, well, I don't want to give away too much good good information here. Uh, there's a lot of fun updates that are going to be coming up in the next month or two. So um, I got to be careful here. But basically, I was looking for a new POS software as well because Square, I like Square, but there's other options out there. So I discovered Shopify. 
And I just realized, I'm like, oh wow, so you can actually build a website with Shopify and you can also, you know, obviously sell products on Shopify, but then it also syncs up with their POS system, which is like this barcode scanner thing. It's called POS to go. I'll probably do more videos about that later on. Um, but I was like, okay, this might, this sounds like a solution. So the reason I've been MIA, uh, I'm trying to bring things full circle here is because I've been so focused on trying to transition our website from Weebly to Shopify. And we finally just did it. I finally just finished hitting the publish button on our brand new website. So when you get a chance, please check out www.jjartworks.com and let me know what you think. I'm super excited about the way things look. It's more seamless. It looks way better on mobile devices. Uh, it's easier to scroll through. It's not as um, it's not as jam-packed with, with things. I mean, there's a lot of content on the website, don't get me wrong, but it's it's more organized. And I just like the drop-down menus. I like how things appear. And it's just a more user-friendly type uh, website now. And the shopping cart's amazing. So please check it out. If you're an entrepreneur um, and you're looking for a new website, I, I highly, highly recommend Shopify. It's only been you know, a month since I've been using them and I haven't really, I've tested out, I've done some test sales, things seem to be working smoothly. But the fact that it integrates with your uh, in-person uh, POS system and you ha you can keep track of all your inventory and it also syncs up with, with Amazon and YouTube, um, I've been told, I haven't tr tested this out yet, but it just seems like this is a very, very seamless thing. And, um, the other thing I want to touch upon today is, and it has to do with, with your foundation. And, you know, uh, since we're, we're a channel that talks about entrepreneurship and, and, and being a small business owner, um, you know, I, I like to, to talk about that, but I also want to talk about mindfulness and your personal life as well. So your foundation can be like your business foundation, but then also like your personal foundation, whether that be your habits, your values, your morals, all that stuff. If, you, if you're noticing holes in your foundation, for example, in your personal life, if you just know that I'm kind of eating like crap, um, I, I really need to scale back on the alcohol, um, maybe I'm smoking too much weed or whatever it is, I don't know what your vices are, but um, you know, it behooves you to really sort of uh, take inventory of, of what you're doing in your life and you want to always come back to having a solid foundation because that's where you, um, that's where your power is. And the more unshakable of a foundation you have, the better footing you'll have to grow and expand. But if you're trying to grow and expand and try new things and like your foundation is all wobbly, then you're just going to keep being wobbly, right? You really, really need to settle back in and take the time and energy to build a solid foundation, whether that be in your business, your personal life, whatever it is. Um, I know I've posted videos over the past couple of months about um, exercise and nutrition, everything, and how I was able to get down to 10% body fat. But there were holes in my health and nutrition foundation. Um, I just felt like I was out of shape. I felt like um, I needed to slim down a bit. And um, you know, one of the things I want to do next year is I, I really want to get back into acting and I specifically want to aim for action movies. So I'm like, I need to look a certain way. I need to learn the skills. Another big reason why I do Taekwondo. And, uh, I was just like, you know, this is, there, there's holes in my, my health foundation. Um, and, and these are all pretty much like physical health goals. There's also, you know, mental health foundation. Uh, you might need to go to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> to to fix things or or to to get rid of negative thought patterns or to co come get over somebody that's really you know affected your life in a negative way. So when I say foundation, I'm just talking about having a solid solid place where you can just plant your two feet on the ground and continue continue to grow and expand. But you need to have fertile ground. So I'm just going to leave that there. I 
we need to get moving here and set up this paint party. But um, I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. We, we truly uh, appreciate and love the support. Uh, every view, every subscribe, uh, we really, really appreciate it. Uh, if this is your first time visiting our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Uh, add us. We, we try to come out with content like this that stems around entrepreneurship and mindfulness. And um, we're just, you know, artists trying to make our way in the world. And we want to share our story with people as well and let you know that you're not alone. So um, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your fall season. And I'll talk to you later in another video. Talk to you soon.